Good morning, good, good morning, morning, good morning. morning. Happy morning. Tuesday. I am Gigi. I'm JG. All right. And this is Walking 1K with GG. Yeah. Another beautiful morning, a cold yeah. morning here nice. in the 757. Yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we're rejoicing, and we're glad in it. We're just happy that we are moving and up and breathing. I don't take any of his blessings for granted. Yeah. And if you can, y'all, move this morning, move this morning. Get a few steps in this morning, even if it's just a... A, 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 a walk around in your house all right well this is another day and I've got a gym nugget for you and our daily bread reminded me of something it's titled God's comforting commitment Joshua 1 9 it says have I not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. My gem nugget this morning is you're never alone. You are never alone. You know, I, I always think about this time of the year. You know, the past three years, um, we've lost a lot of people you know, natural causes, COVID. Um, some people have been left alone because of breakups of relationships. But I want to let you know, you are never alone. You know, because there are two types, what I call aloneness. You can have, you can be physically alone, where there's no physical person around you. And you can be spiritually alone. You can be alone in your beliefs and in your thoughts and so forth. But the one thing about God, he will never leave you and he will never forsake you. You are never alone. It was just like Joshua. You know, you can be alone when there's thousands of people around you. And that's what happened with Joshua. After Moses died, you know, Joshua said, oh my goodness, I've got to, uh, lead these people and a lot of times he had to stand alone in his decisions but that's why um, God kept telling him over and over in those first few chapters of Joshua first he told him um, to be strong and courageous do not be afraid don't be discouraged he told him over and over again and why because God will be with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Oh my goodness, that's good news for somebody this morning, even during this season. But you are never alone. Isn't that good news, Pastor? Yes, it is. What you got to say news. about that? Yeah, you know, a lot of times we feel like we don't hear from God. Oh, wow. You get to a point where you feel like you don't hear from God. And you know, that can cause a panic attack. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's why a lot of people have uh, those panic attacks. You know, they feel like, you know, I'm out here by myself. Uh -huh. like, you know, I'm alone. Nobody hears me. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. but God uh -huh. said, I would never leave you. Never, never. Or forsake you. Even never. to the end never. of the world. Yes, yes. And he'll be with you. And then sometimes when you don't hear from him, uh -huh. this little still voice come to you. Mm -hmm. You know he's with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I just like to say, you know, hold on. Yes. Yes. And yes. We, like those old saints used to say, hold on. Yes. To God's unchanging hand. Yes. Yes. That's what's holding up. Yes. Yes. His hand. You are never alone. Yes. That's good, Pastor. You know, as a counselor, when I counsel young people, yes. sometimes, sometimes older people, yes. you know, one of the things that we always let everyone know is that they're never alone. They're not the only one that has gone through tragedy or gone through a loss or gone through things. And that is very comforting to know that you're not alone. Yeah. There is somebody else that has gone through something uh, that you've gone through and sometimes even worse. And sometimes that's why it's so important, you know, 
uh, when you have uh, groups like um, bereavement groups or lost groups or, you know, all types of groups. And it's just a comfort uh, when you can even get with someone that has gone through what you've gone through. And guess what? When Jesus came down, he, he went through everything that we went through. He's not a high priest that has not gone through the things that we have gone through. And so that's why we can say that you're never alone because he will always be with you in every situation, in every trial, everything that comes up in your life, that's so confident. So I just wanna leave that with you. Whatever's going on, you are never alone. Oh my goodness. I think that'll help somebody today. I think that'll help somebody even through this season, amen. Yeah, um, yo, go ahead, Pastor. About being alone. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, especially our culture, uh -huh. you know, a man ain't supposed to cry. Oh, wow. A woman ain't supposed to cry. Mm -hmm. Nobody, you don't supposed to show your feelings. Oh, wow. I yeah. say go ahead and cry. Yeah, yeah. If you're alone and you know that this is the first time, this, during this season, mm -hmm. go ahead and cry. Go ahead and cry. I give you permission today, uh -huh. as a pastor and a child of God. Yeah. Go ahead and cry. Yeah. Yeah. Because guess what? You're not alone. Yeah. You are not alone. God is right there with you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I just feel in my spirit somebody needed that this morning. Yeah. Because you think you are all by yourself in this situation, yeah. and that's why sometimes. A lot of people take their own lives because they think they're the only one yeah. that's going through stuff. Yeah. So, but you are not alone. Never. Remember what he told Joshua, yeah. be of good courage. Uh, um, what did he say? Be of good courage, be strong. Don't be afraid for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that is such comforting news amen amen well let me remind you tonight is 7 p.m you know what time that is it's church school live yeah. all right i'm coming from the international sunday school lesson got a good one tonight the faith of david oh i know y'all heard the story of david and goliath but we're gonna look at this and another through new eyes through the eyes of faith the faith of David. Oh, you better tune in at 7 p.m. It's going to be another good one because we're in this quarter talking about a faith that 